Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Before we get into today's video, I wanted to share a quick story that happened to me recently. I was recently the victim of credit card theft. I didn't actually discover that I was a victim until I received notifications that over a thousand dollars had been charged to my card and my card and account was frozen. Needless to say, it was a pretty big inconvenience to the fun weekend I had planned. If you think it won't happen to you, think again. Hackers love to target places like video game companies, streaming services, and other commonly used websites. These companies are prime targets because they have a ton of customer data. They don't, however, have to adhere to the same security requirements and regulatory demands as hospitals or banks. So that's why I'm excited to partner with today's sponsor, Aura. Aura is identity theft protection, fraud monitoring, a VPN, password management, and antivirus software all combined into one easy to use app. The thing that sold me on Aura was how it monitors the dark web for your emails, passwords, and social security numbers. If it finds them, it sends alerts fast right to your phone or email. When I first signed up to the service, I was given a massive reality check. Aura found over a dozen instances of my personal information on the dark web. It found my username and password available for hackers to try and steal my info. Aura also gives you near real-time alerts on suspicious credit inquiries, like someone else opening a loan or credit card in your name. They also have VPN services for safe anonymous browsing to keep potential hackers from stealing your info. Protect your family and yourself from identity theft by going to aura.com mtg or clicking my link in the description. And if you sign up right now, Aura will give you a two-week free trial with my link. You can see for yourself how many times Aura finds you or your family member's personal info on the dark web. A big thanks to Aura for sponsoring today's video. We went to Command Fest Vegas over the summer and had a great time. We recorded games while we were out there, and these are some of those games tonight. So, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have AJ, Paladin Kinnon, Bonder Prodigy. This deck seeks to resolve its commander and generate a lot of mana. It sinks this mana into one of its many mana outlets and then uses layered combos to win the game. AJ's opening hand contains a Spell Pierce, Command Tower, Island, Sylvan Library, Arcane Signet, Force of Will, and his London Mulligan is a Commander Sphere. Next, we have Eric, piloting the partner pair of Thrasios Triton Hero and Rograx, Son of Rogah. This deck, called Teamer Polymorph, seeks to control the board before it can cast a Polymorph effect to flip into either Tidespout Tyrant or Holebreaker Horror. Eric's opening hand contains a Ponder, Talisman of Curiosity, Tropical Island, Mox Opal, Forbidden Orchard, Mana Vault, and his London Mulligan is a Mental Misstep. After that we have Ryan, piloting the partner pair of Jessica Thrice Reborn and Timna the Weaver. This deck, called Mad Farm, aims to generate infinite mana quickly and sink it into its commander Jessica to shoot the board. It falls back on a Timna Grind Engine or a classic Dual Caster Mage combo. Ryan's opening hand contains a Wooded Foothills, Jessica's Will, Lightning Bolt, Stone Coil Serpent, Tainted Pact, and his London Mulligans are a Cloudstone Curio and a Praetor's Grasp. Finally, we have Toby, piloting Goto, Bandit Warlord. This classic CEDH deck seeks to cast and resolve its one-card combo commander. In conjunction with Helm of the Host, Goto can and will win out of nowhere when you least expect it. Toby's opening hand contains a Magus of the Moon, Treasonous Ogre, Ricochet Trap, Three Mountains, and his London Mulligan is a Sculpting Steel. Without further ado, let's begin this laborious lethargic lollygagging of ludicrous lectures. Toby put on the best dance at the Bachelorette party and gets to start us off. Toby draws a card for turn, plays a mountain, and passes. AJ draws a card for turn and plays a Command Tower. He casts Boreal Druid and passes the turn. Eric draws and plays a Tropical Island. He casts a Mana Vault. In response, AJ casts Force of Will, paying a life, exiling a blue card, countering Mana Vault. Eric casts a Mox Opal and ships the turn to Ryan. Ryan draws and plays a Badlands. He casts Stone Coil Serpent, where X equals 1. Ryan ends his turn. Toby draws and plays a Blast Zone, entering with a Charge Counter. Toby passes. AJ draws and plays an Island. He casts an Arcane Signet. He casts Sylvan Library. AJ passes to Eric. Eric draws and plays a Scalding Tarn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. He casts Talisman of Curiosity. He taps his Talisman to cast Ponder. He looks at the top three, rearranges, and draws. He casts Mox Diamond, discarding Forbidden Orchard. He casts his commander, Thrasios, Triton Hero. All finished up, Eric ends his turn. Ryan draws and plays a Wooded Foothills. He moves to combat and attacks AJ with Stone Coil. AJ bargains with Ryan, asking why he's attacking him when he did the table a huge favor by countering the Mana Vault. Ryan says, yeah, but nobody really asked you to do that. Then AJ murmurs to the table, when nobody asked for me, I was the hero. AJ then declares no blocks and takes the damage. 
In his second main phase, Ryan cracks his wooded foothills, pays a life, and fetches up a plateau onto the battlefield. He casts Imperial Seal. He fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses two life. All through, Ryan passes to Toby. Toby draws and plays a mountain. He casts a Warren Power Stone. Toby ships the turn to AJ. During his draw step, AJ draws two extra through Sylvan Library, paying eight life to keep them both. He plays an island for turn. He casts his commander, Kenan, Bonder Prodigy. He casts Trophy Mage. It enters, and with the trigger on the stack, Ryan casts Lightning Bolt, killing Kenan. Then AJ fetches up a Basalt Monolith into his hand. The turn moves to Eric. Eric draws and casts his commander, Rograk, son of Rogar. He plays a Wooded Foothills and casts Grim Monolith. Eric ends his turn. Ryan draws and casts a Mana Crypt. He casts his commander, Timna the Weaver. He moves to combat and attacks Toby with Stone Coil. Toby takes it, and in his second main phase, Ryan pays one and draws one through Timna. He plays a Luxury Suite and passes to Toby. Toby draws and plays a Mountain. He starts off his turn by activating Blast Zone, putting a counter on it. He casts Magus of the Moon. In response, Eric cracks his Wooded Foothills, pays a life, and fetches up a Taiga onto the battlefield. Then AJ responds by casting Pact of Negation, countering Magus. The table breathes a sigh of relief, and Toby gives the turn to AJ. During his upkeep, AJ pays for Pact of Negation. During his draw step, he draws two extra through Sylvan Library, paying four life to keep one extra. He takes no other actions and passes the turn. At the end of AJ's turn, Eric activates Thrasios, scrying one and revealing a Cyclonic Rift into his hand. Eric draws and plays an Ancient Tomb. He ships the turn to Ryan. During his upkeep, Ryan loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage. He draws and casts a Soul Ring. He casts Jessica's Will, targeting AJ. He adds four red and then exiles Spectator Seating, Wishclaw Talisman, and Diabolic Intent off of the top of his library. Next, Ryan casts his other commander, Jessica, Thrice Reborn. It enters with two loyalty. He activates Jessica's second ability for two, killing Rograk, Trophy Mage, and Boreal Druid. He casts Wishclaw Talisman from Exile. He moves to combat and attacks Toby with Timna and AJ with Stone Coil. They both take it, and Ryan gains two life. In his second main phase, he pays two and draws two through Timna. He plays a Verdant Catacombs for turn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Scrubland onto the battlefield. He casts Diabolic Intent from Exile, sacking Stone Coil as an additional cost. In response, Eric activates Thrasios, scrying one and revealing a Windfall into his hand. Then Ryan fetches up a card into his hand. Now seeing a Windfall is coming, Ryan casts Lion's Eye Diamond. Ryan ends his turn. Toby draws and plays an Emergence Zone. He casts Treasonous Ogre. In response, Eric activates Thrasios, looking for an answer. He scries one and reveals a Mystical Tutor into his hand. Unfortunately, he doesn't have enough mana to cast both the Tutor and activate Thrasios, so Treasonous Ogre resolves. Toby pays 18 life to cast his commander, Goto, Bandit Warlord. It enters and he fetches up Helm of the Host onto the battlefield. He pays 9 life to activate Helm. In response, Eric casts Cyclonic Rift, targeting Goto. In response, Toby pays 3 life to cast Ricochet Trap for its alternate cost, targeting Rift. Trap resolves and redirects Cyclonic Rift to Timna. Then Rift resolves, Timna bounces, and Helm equips to Goto. Tony moves to combat, Helm triggers, Toby makes infinite Godos, gets infinite combats, and Toby wins the game. That was a very cool game, so let's do another one. In this game, AJ brings back Kinnon, and his opening hand contains a Forest, Finehorn Elves, Island, Elysian Caritid, Fierce Guardianship, Growth Spiral, and Athasa's Oracle. Eric brings back Thrasios and Rograk, and his opening hand contains a Breeding Pool, Mystic Remora, Cyclonic Rift, Paradise Mantle, Rhystic Study, Jessica's Will, and a Chain of Vapor. Ryan brings back Timna and Jessica, and in his opening hand contains a Mana Crypt, Silence, Vault of Champions, Red Elemental Blast, Dualcaster Mage, and his London Mulligans are Peer into the Abyss and Orm's Chant. Toby brings back Goto, and his opening hand contains a Treasonous Ogre, Mana Vault, Chaos Warp, Mana Geyser, Sequestered Stash, Mountain, and his London Mulligan is an Honor Worn Shaku, and AJ gets to start us off. AJ draws and plays a Forest. He casts Finehorn Elves. He passes. Eric draws and casts his Commander, Rograk, Son of Rogar. He plays a Breeding Pool into play untapped, paying two life. He casts a turn one, Mystic Remora. He ships the turn. Ryan draws and plays a Vault of Champions. He casts a Mana Crypt. Mystic Remora triggers and Eric draws. Ryan passes. Toby draws and plays a Mountain. He casts a Mana Vault. Mystic Remora triggers and Eric draws. Toby exiles Simeon Spirit Guide from his hand and adds a red. He casts a turn one, Treasonous Ogre. Ryan, as an avid Goto player, knows that this is game over if Ogre resolves. So in response, Ryan casts Silence. Remora triggers and Eric draws. Silence resolves, locking out Toby from winning this turn. Treasonous Ogre resolves and Toby has to pass. AJ draws and plays an island. He casts his commander, Kinnon, Bonder Prodigy. All finished up, he ships the turn to Eric. During his upkeep, Eric pays to keep his Mystic Remora. He draws and plays an island. He casts Lotus Petal. He follows it up with a Paradise Mantle. He casts Mox Opal. 
The table asks him if he has enough artifacts yet, and he responds by casting Talisman of Curiosity. He equips Paradise Mantle to Rograk. He passes the turn. During his upkeep, Ryan wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and plays a Swamp. He casts his commander, Timna the Weaver. He passes. During his draw step, Toby takes a damage through Mana Vault. He plays a Sequestered Stash. He activates Trees of his Ogre, paying 12 life to help cast Goto, Bandit Warlord. It enters, and he fetches up a Helm of the Host onto the battlefield. He activates Trees of his Ogre to help equip Helm of the Host to Goto. He moves to combat, and in response, Eric casts Chain of Vapor, targeting Goto. Goto is bounced, and Toby declines to continue the chain. With his win attempt foiled, Toby ships the turn to AJ. AJ draws and plays a Forest. He casts Elysian Keratid. He casts Growth Spiral. Mystic Remora triggers, and Eric draws. Then AJ draws and declines to put a land into play. He passes. During his upkeep, Eric lets his Mystic Remora die. He draws and asks how many cards everyone has in their hand. Everyone knows this is not a good sign, and Eric casts Jessica's Will, targeting AJ. Eric adds five red and exiles Windswept Teeth, Talisman of Creativity, and Turn the Earth from the top of his library. He plays Windswept Teeth from Exile. He casts Ponder. He looks at the top three, rearranges, and draws. He casts Rhystic Study. In response, AJ casts Fierce Guardianship for its alternate cost, countering Rhystic Study. Eric casts Talisman of Creativity. He cracks his Windswept Teeth, pays a life, and fetches up a tropical island onto the battlefield. He casts Carpet of Flowers. He moves to a second main phase and adds a green through his carpet. He casts Turn the Earth, targeting AJ's Growth Spiral and his own Mystic Remora and Jessica's Will in the graveyards. They all shuffle in, and Eric gains two life. With nothing else, Eric passes the turn. During his upkeep, Ryan loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage. He draws and plays a Luxury Suite. He casts Loyal Apprentice. He moves to combat and creates a 1-1 Thopter with haste through Loyal Apprentice. He swings Timna and Loyal Apprentice at Eric and the Thopter at Toby. Everybody takes it, and Ryan gains two life. In his second main phase, Ryan pays two life and draws two through Timna. All finished up, he passes. During his draw step, Toby takes the damage through his Mana Ball. He plays a Blast Zone. It enters with a Charge Counter. He pays life through Treasonous Ogre to help cast Mana Geyser. Ryan, once again says, this is a spell that needs to be countered. One by one, the table passes priority, and Mana Geyser resolves. Toby adds 7 red. He recasts his commander, Goto, Bandit Warlord. It enters, and he fetches up a Hammer of Nazan onto the battlefield. Hammer triggers and equips to Goto. The table braces for impact, but with no mana left, and definitely not enough to equip Helm of the Host, Toby passes. At the end of Toby's turn, AJ casts Worldly Tutor. He fetches up a Trophy Mage onto the top of his library. AJ draws and casts Trophy Mage. It enters, and he fetches up a Basalt Monolith into his hand. He casts Basalt Monolith. He taps it for four colorless through Kennen. He attempts to untap it, but in response, Eric casts Cyclonic Rift, bouncing Basalt Monolith to AJ's hand. Foiled in his attempt to win, and with not enough mana left to go off, AJ passes. Eric draws, and in his first main phase, he adds blue through his carpet. He plays a Misty Rainforest. He casts Polymorph, targeting Rograk. In response, AJ casts Spell Pierce, targeting Polymorph. Eric pays for Spell Pierce, and Polymorph resolves. Rograk is destroyed, and Eric flips until he reveals Tide Spell Tyrant, putting it onto the battlefield. He cracks his Misty Rainforest, pays a life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. He recasts his commander, Rograk. Tide Spout Tyrant triggers, and he bounces Mox Opal back to his hand. He recasts Mox Opal. Tide Spout triggers again, and he bounces Rograk to his hand. He presents a loop of bouncing and recasting Rograk and Mox Opal, tapping Opal for mana each time, generating infinite mana. With infinite mana, he casts his other commander, Thrasios, Triton Hero. He activates Thrasios, drawing his library and putting every land onto the battlefield tapped, including Barbarian Ring. He casts Noxious Revival, targeting Turn the Earth, putting it on top of his library. He activates Thrasios, scrying and revealing Turn the Earth into his hand. He casts Crop Rotation, sacrificing Barbarian Ring as an additional cost. He holds priority and casts Turn the Earth, shuffling Noxious Revival and Barbarian Ring into his library, gaining two life. Then Crop Rotation resolves, and he fetches up Barbarian Ring onto the battlefield. He sacrifices Barbarian Ring since he has Threshold and deals two to Ryan. He activates Thrasios, scrying one, and revealing the only card in his library, Noxious Revival. He casts Noxious Revival, putting Turn the Earth back on top of his library. He activates Thrasios, putting Turn the Earth into his hand. He casts Turn the Earth, shuffling Noxious Revival, Barbarian Ring, and Crop Rotation back into his library. He activates Thrasios, putting Noxious Revival and Crop Rotation back into his hand and Barbarian Ring onto the battlefield tapped. Now, he's back to his original starting point. So now, Eric presents a loop of sacking Barbarian Ring through Crop Rotation, shuffling it in, fetching it onto the battlefield untapped, and sacking it to deal two to an opponent. He does this over and over, until the table is dead, and Eric wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a fun set of games tonight. Congrats to Toby and Eric on their wins. 
In game one, Toby sat back while everyone else was doing super scary things. AJ was trying to win with Kennen and Ryan was tutoring and drawing a lot of cards. Toby made sure to keep his head low until he was ready to close out the game in one turn. In game two, Eric profited heavily off of his opponent's greed with his turn one Mystic Remora. He managed to thwart multiple Goto win attempts. He also controlled his other opponents while expanding his own game plan. He waited until interaction had been spent on game winning pieces to go off and it paid off for him tonight. And let's face it, that loop was a sight to behold. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more like this, be sure to subscribe. Well that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time when we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.